welcome to this week's Focus Friday Additive Tips Edition. This week I want to go over how to split an STL file into smaller sections. Sometimes you can have, you know, some very large um, tessellated parts, maybe you have an engine block, for example, or just a, a huge part that has uh, all kinds of triangles in it and you need to cut it, or you can scale it and actually open it. Well, there's a feature within NetFab here where you can split an STL file by going to split large STL files under the file menu, selecting your part. What it does is that you get options here for scaling the part and how, how you want to split the part. It's going to hit create decomposition and it's going to split that part, but it keeps it in your folder. And then you can bring in the parts individually. For example, I can grab the parts that I cut here. I made this part small enough to grab them all at once, but you could go ahead and grab those particular parts one by one and work on them. As you see here, we have the four parts of this airplane. And as you work on the individual parts, you can then put the parts back together by just going to um, your home tab here, Boolean operations. Of course, selecting all the parts. Boolean operations and then utilize the unify the green parts. And then it becomes one whole part again. But this is just a quick tip this week just to show you how to split a part to um, save time in bringing in large parts or if you're having any issues with those uh, large parts. Once again, thank you for joining this week's Additive Focus Friday tips. Thank you.